Uh, you, might, you guys might hear a little echo in here. I had to take the rug out because it smelled like ass. Sorry about that. And I took it outside and I was banging it with a broom. And my neighbor was like, damn, don't you have a vacuum nut? And I'm like, ah, it's from my gun room. So I just had to throw it away. So if, if it's echo in here, it's because there's no rug down right now. What a pain in the ass. Okay, brass stacker. You've guys seen me show you their products before. Uh, this place is from North Carolina. Everything's made in USA. They're a uh, USA company and arms and accessories manufacturer. Uh, their products are 100% are lifetime warranty. I mean, how can you go wrong? And, and their prices are unbelievable. I get all my recoil rods. When I get my recoil springs and rods for my Glocks, because you know I ain't crazy about the plastic ones, I replace them. I always get the brass stacker because they work and they're super high quality. Um, I got one in my Glock 21 right now. Okay, now this is something different. This is called a weighted recoil rod. It's a little heavier, and uh, it's got an 18-pound spring in there, and it comes with a bushing. It's a, it's a different system. Um, what it's for is it reduces recoil impulse. Even when you, when you put this uh, recoil system in your Glock, and you pull the slide back and let it go in your hand, you, without even firing it, you can already feel a difference. It's pretty amazing. Um, is it reliable? Well, they've been making it for a long time now, and they've got no reports of any kind of misfeeding, uh, any kind of uh, uh, stove piping, any kind of hiccups or anything. So it's it's a good product. Uh, one thing is, it's it has real tight tolerances. Okay, now it's got a little weight to it. So if you guys are like weight crazy, this is for competition shooting. It helps with the uh, helps with muzzle muzzle flip, follow up shots, but they also have a carry version. But you can also use this if you don't mind the weight. I mean, it's not that heavy. It has it has tungsten in it, and it's encased in steel. Okay, so tungsten's like it's real dense, heavy material. So, and it's wrapped in steel, and that's where they get the weight. Uh, but uh, you can you can use this to carry too. It doesn't matter. So what it is is, it makes your pistol perform more accurately faster follow-up shots, makes your weapon more effective, right? That's what it does. So I'll, I'll show you how, how it goes in. And uh, now these are made, the tolerances are a lot more tighter than your Glock spring that's in there. They're really like you really, you just have to maneuver it just right and it'll get in. Uh, but it goes in. Once it's in, it feels wonderful, okay? There's Brass Stacker's um, business card. Uh, and they just do everything top notch. Even their business cards have a ton of information on them. Look, that's the front, and look, the back. That's what you want to see. Phone numbers, information, 100% guaranteed. That's all the stuff I look for. I know I don't want to sound like an infomercial, but I love that. It makes me feel good. Like, mm, anything happens, all I got to do is call, and they'll take care of me. That's why I like. Why is this on here? Sorry about that. That's the cord to my camera. All right. All right, I got a couple other things from Brass Stacker too. I'll show you them in a minute. This video might be a little lengthy. See them over here? Cool stuff. Okay, well first, uh, firearm is empty, it is safe, take the mag out. Okay. Now here is your typical, now this is for Gen 4s, all right? Sorry, I forgot to mention that. This is for Gen 4 Glock pistols, okay? I don't think they have it yet for the subcompact. They have it for the compact and I think the full size, I think. But uh, just go to the website. You know, I'll put the link there, you guys, for you guys. Okay, there's your typical Gen 4 spring, which is a really good spring. Uh, I think they're even more solid than the Gen 3 springs. But um, like I said, there's nothing wrong with putting something a little nicer in there. So that comes out. It's very light. And I'll uh, put that aside. Okay, now here's how this goes in. It comes with a bushing. And the bushing has a flat side. Okay. Has a flat side on it. And the flat side goes down. But that's that's for a certain Glock. I forget which one it is. Glock 30 something. Some, it's a Glock that has a real long barrel. And they put that flat side in there just to give it a little more clearance. 
but so if if the flat side's not down you don't really have to worry about it unless you have that Glock model you know what I'm saying so it, it doesn't really matter but I just want to show you the difference look how, how thick that is and it's solid it's heavy okay and look at that spring nice thick 18 pound spring okay here's how you put it in the closed end goes on this way just like that sorry wrong way <laughs> the open end sorry the open end goes on first like this all right the open end goes to the the rimmed part of it and then the uh, the bushing goes in here okay now if you're a competition shooter you really want to consider this system if you're just a regular carrier you can consider this system too it ain't just for that but it's you know and like I said they make a light version of this for carry too but if the weight don't bother you you can use this for carry too I asked every question I could believe me okay now putting this in not as fast as putting that in because this is very machined and tolerances are just just right so closed end goes in the bushing groove okay tolerances are a little tight with this so might take you a little finagle there got it okay now it's locked in there what I do like about that is that sucker's locked in nice you know what I mean you know sometimes you take your Glock off and the spring the spring is up on the third step on the on this barrel here I don't think that's going to happen with this it fits in there nice and tight so there's a visual of it now the slide has some weight to the front of it now feels good and then there's the front and these are not that much money they're uh, 40 bucks I mean that's pff, a regular recoil spring metal recoil springs 40 bucks so that's what I'm talking about okay and we're going to take it to the range we're going to put a hundred rounds through it at least okay now when i go like this i already feel a difference the gun ain't ain't any pulling forward you know when you go like this and you feel it kind of go like just already it, it's it's making a difference but uh like i said i have no experience with it we're going to put a hundred rounds to it and make sure everything's okay and that's what it looks like Okay, and we'll see what it can do. Now, here's, a, here's something else I wanted to show you. It feels good. It's just, it feels a little heavier. See, that, that don't bother me because, I mean, there's times I carry a 1911. It's, it's, still, it's still a light gun. But like I said, if you're really concerned about that, they make a light version carry of this uh, recoil system. All right. Now, they also sent me a... Uh, I know you guys are probably going to laugh, but you know what? Girls, uh, some, some women have a hard time pulling the Glock slide back. And what this does is it hooks on the back of the uh, slide. See the grooves? These grooves slide in these grooves, and then you just put it together with an Allen key. Okay? And uh, we can do that real quick. That won't take long. And what's great about this is... I'm glad he sent me this because I'm sure there's going to be a time because you guys know I got rheumatoid arthritis I'm sure there's going to be a time where my arthritis gets so bad I am not going to be able to pull that slide back guaranteed not going to okay and now I have this I won't put it on now because I don't need it but I'm sure someday I might need this this is a great idea okay so I'll just Loosen the Allen key. Pretty easy to put on. I'm just going to center it dead center of the slide and just tighten the Allen screw. Uh, this is great for elderly people that has ba have bad arthritis, or if you're you're elderly and you don't have the strength in your hand in your hands that you used to have. Okay. There you go. Uh, Real good for women. Uh, Glock's got uh, pretty strong springs in them. They're pretty hard to pull the slides back. And there's a lot, like my sister, when I showed her a Glock because she was going to get a gun to carry, she had a real hard time pulling the, uh, 
pulling the slide back. I mean, not carry for home protection because she lives in Jersey. She ain't on the carry. But uh, this is something uh, I'm going to show her, and uh, maybe she'll get a Glock now because I like I like her to get a good reliable pistol. But that's great. I mean, you just get your finger in there and you're good to go. And it's a great idea. I'll put their website on there, guys, and then you'll see all the prices and everything. It's very, very simple to install. See how that works? You take that screw out, and there's a little peg on this, and you just puzzle the peg together, squeeze it together, which the peg holds it, helps you keep it together for you. And you just, you know, just screw the Allen key in. Don't wrench it too tight. Just give it a good twist, and uh, you're good to go. That's pretty cool, man. Awesome. All right, and uh, there's one more thing I want to show you. I'm just going to show it to you. Uh, they make a, an extended slide release, and it's pretty. I never seen one like this. They actually have it angled. See how the ed, how the edges are on a, uh, like a 35 degree angle. And what Brass Stacker does, this notch here. That sixteenth groove, they make it a little smaller. The tolerance is a little closer for better fit and lockup. So, just wanted to show you. This is an extended slide release, and but I never seen one like this with the angle. And plus, uh, this is a machine smaller to fit better. Okay, I'll put that in, not today, but I'll put that in another time, and then I'll let you know how it is, one thing at a time. Right now, the thing I want to know. I want to make sure my gun's going to be reliable. So what I'm going to do for now is take this off and then take this bad boy to the range. I'm going to use Remington UMC, of course, 40 caliber ammunition. I like Remington UMC. It's been nothing but good to me. Here's how this works. See the peg? Put the peg in the hole in the back. Push it together. Tighten the screw, and you're good to go. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad I have this. I might need this someday, man. Just like I said, it's good for if you're handicapped, an older guy, bad arthritis, or if you're a woman, you don't have the strength in your hands. This thing takes care of all that. And what is this called? This part? You think I would know, but I don't. But I'm going to put you. I'm going to put their link under there, and then you'll see all that stuff. Okay. So that's cool. That's cool, but this is super cool. I can't wait to test this out. All right, next video will be a range video with this, and then uh, we'll see how it does. We're going to see if I can get tighter groups. We're going to see uh, if, it, if it helps my muzzle flip. I'm going to let you know everything. I'll see you soon.